like a, like a boss. Do it like a, like a, like a boss. Like a boss. Hey guys, how's it going? Let's talk really quick about the auto punch in feature on Logic. This will be really helpful if you want to punch in a vocal, especially if you want to loop that section over and over so you can just do multiple takes and you don't have to be going stop and record and stop and record. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, oh, you know, I'm a sucker for a bad boy, but you can't do me like that. Uh, do me like that. Uh oh, somehow you took away my power. Now I'm taking it back. Yeah. Taking it back. Okay, so I want to punch in this second part right here. So I'm going to grab and drag my cycle to be the length of the part I want to punch in. And then I'm going to make sure that I am record enabled, which I am. And I'm just going to push R and I'm just going to go at it like a few times, take a few takes. <clears throat> Uh oh, somehow you took away my power and now I'm taking it back. Yeah. Uh. Taking it back. Uh oh, somehow you took away my power and now I'm taking it back. Yeah. Taking it back. Uh oh, somehow you took away my power and now I'm taking it back. Yeah. Mm. Taking it back. Okay, so now you can see that I've got the first take that I originally did, but I've got three more takes that I just did. So now I have a total of four takes. So it's like, oh my gosh, what am I looking at? I remember the first time I saw this, I was like, my brain can't process this. <laughs> but um, here's what it is. So the first take is right here at the bottom. And this top one is going to be a comp of all the takes that you've put together to make your final vocal, right? So right now, this up here is actually this first part here of the first take of take one. It is this part of take four and then the rest from take one, right? So if I want to go through and listen to the different takes, I can just click on it and you'll notice how the audio changes up there when I click on these different takes. So if I'm clicked entirely on take one like I am right now, then this up here is going to be all of take one. But I, I knew I didn't like take one. I was like, well, I want to try that a few more times. Let's listen to take three and see what that sounded like. And let's do a little lead in. Do me like that. Uh oh, somehow you took away my power. Now I'm taking it back. Okay, I want to listen to take four. Just click on it. Do me like that. Uh oh, somehow you took away. Right? And you can do that with all your takes until you find the one that you like. Another thing is to keep in mind is you look, see how when you drag this, it's automatically adding that crossfade for you. So just make sure that your fades are not cutting off any breaths or anything like that. So let's say that I want to keep take four. Take four is selected. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this. And now it's just in there. And you can go ahead and you can leave it like that. But when you want to commit to it, just click here on this A and go to um, flatten and merge. And it'll just create a final take for you. So that is one way to do it so that you can do auto punch. Another way to do this that I end up doing when I'm working by myself, and especially because I'm working so close to just my microphone, you know, I'm not tracking another singer, is like, I'll just go in and go, okay, what part do I want to grab, right? Mm. Taking it back. Have me coming undone, have me under your thumb, and it was fun. So like that part I messed up, I will just snip it, get rid of it, right? Come right under it with a new track. All I've done is duplicate that track, arm the track below it. And then now I can actually hear the track beforehand as well. Yeah. Sing mm. along with it. Taking, Taking it back. back. I've been under your thumb. I've been coming undone. And while it was fun. Boom. Chop it. Chop it. Insert it get rid of those. It's kind of a long way, but like, I don't know, that's just the way that, that I've been doing it. And that's the way that it works for me. But I wanted to show you the other way. So another way to quickly auto punch, not necessarily on a loop, but if you're just going to grab a section really quick is um, you're going to go to uh, customize your control bar and display and then add auto punch, which is going to give you these two little arrows right here. And then you can set that 
wherever you want, forever, uh, as long as you want for the, the part that you want to punch in, right? So I want to punch in just this part right here, but, um, and I'm sure you guys already know this, but whenever you're punching in, sing along with yourself before you punch in. It'll help to capture the performance and make it feel natural and not as much like a punch in. So I'm going to sing along and you're going to hear the other track or the other vocal. And it's not going to actually start recording until that punch in uh, area is highlighted. So check this out. Power now, I'm taking it back. Yeah. Mm. Taking it back. I've been coming undone, I've been under your thumb in a while, it was fun. And then it's out, right? So now what it's done is it's saying, okay, here's the original take, right here, take one. But here's take two. This is the one that we just did. And then if I collapse that, it's going to show you that that is the take two. It's going to keep that in there, right? So you can do the same thing and you can just flatten and merge that and it'll keep it all together now don't feel bad if that is like for, for me that was a little bit confusing at first i don't know why but it just kind of messed with my head if you just want to seriously check this out i'm gonna grab this marquee tool and i'm just gonna highlight that part and go bye right and then i'm just gonna grab another track like, like all i did was duplicate that one underneath right get rid of that and uh and punch in this way for now it's totally fine yeah, mm. taking it back. Yeah, I've been coming undone. I've been under your thumb, and while it was fun, you stop it. You know, you edit it. You get rid of the stuff you don't need. You move it up, and then you know, and that is fine too. Um, when you're moving, when you're wanting to move quicker and and get pretty speedy with this, it's going to be really good to work with the auto punch in feature. So uh, let me know if you guys have any more questions about punching in vocals. That's what I got for you today. Thanks.